Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim, still at the um, Camp Oaks RV Center here in Dahlonega, where I have a boo-boo on my hand that's hurting me. Uh, you saw video one where we went in all the flagstaffs with the Asdell or the fiberglass outside. We're gonna go in the metal campers now. And they have, I don't know what kind of tires they're using. They have these black rims. Let's see what the prices are. Let's see what the weight is. This is a 2024 Catalina, a 26 foot bunkhouse for only 20,000. Uh, it's 30 feet in length and it weighs 4,800, under 5,000 pounds. And um, I can tell right now it's a little uh, longer than I probably want. And this is a bunk. So if you have children, this is what this is. Uh, the price is only $20,000. Let me just show you here. It's got a sofa that's folded down. This is another bed, a big deep sink. And of course the bedroom can be kind of private. It's got this little wall here and then you can pull that curtain and it looks like only a full, I don't know if that's a queen or not. And you have some storage up there. Um, so, and some deep closets there. Panning back around. You have a small counter spot there with the three burner stove, a small booth. And there you go for that one. Oh, I gotta, can you uh, do me a favor? Uh, keep recording, I've just gotta tie my shoe. It's come undone. My new Skechers. So we're going to find out if the Catalinas I want to see are on the other lot over here or if they're over here on this side. Yeah, so I was informed that the lot behind me is service vehicles, that everything for sale is right over here. But as I was walking by, someone left a, a comment that this looks like an old Cracker Barrel because it does uh, look similar and uh, they got all the rockers out here. So it's a very inviting, uh, fun place to come. Okay, that uh, LTZ Suburban looks like he's got a little tongue weight. He's got a little tongue weight on that small, small camper there. So, you know, they have these, um, we're not going to probably look at these tiny ones, like these pop-up things. Um, I don't think that many people, well, people are interested, but they have these ones that you can put over on the back of your truck and they have this little tiny off-roading model here. But let's go in these metal ones. And there's a big one down there. And this one right here is only 18 feet. And it is a 2024. Uh, it's 4,200 pounds. All right. Yeah, I'll scratch my feet. 4,200 pounds. It has a slide. Everything has a slide these days, folks. My camera doesn't have a slide. Okay, this is another bunkhouse. Bunkhouse means they have these little uh, beds here. Now these are, uh, ooh, it's soft. These are these are pretty good size. An adult can certainly get in there. I don't know how you get up there. I couldn't get up there, but um, but certainly uh, teenagers and and uh, young adults can get in there. You got another. Do these have? Do they employ um, as a plastic toilet like I have in my wolf pup? And this is a very bare to the bones. No nothing against the wall mirror like I have. I have definitely got to trade my wolf pup. This is, other than a slide, this is what I have now. Everything but nothing compared to the new tech, the new way they're building them. And then the bed comes down. Oh, it's a Murphy bed, is it? Okay, I didn't see that. And when that's down, of course, I don't know how that even fits there, but I guess it, yeah. it does. All right, moving on. Does have, uh, I guess, an electric awning and a JBL sound system and all that. And they have the, uh, what does that say? Gamic tire. Can't read it. They are 15 inch, folks. They are 15 inch. That's good. Storage all the way through. No electric tongue, no covered LP tanks. 
This is another bunk bed. We won't go in that one. It's longer though, with an outdoor kitchen. I just have to see it. We can't get cheap on anybody. It's got dual axle. That's a single axle. This is a dual axle. It's got the front little uh, bedroom here with a wall to kind of give you some privacy. And of course there is a curtain on both sides to give you complete privacy. They have the bed down. That's a sofa, a booth. This one will cost you $29,000. It's a 2024, 26 foot. And big, giant pantry. You have no idea how big and roomy that is inside. Wow. Lots of cabinets. What do we got here? Thought it might have been a fireplace, but... So this is what you got here. Got the duct AC. This is the flat roof. It's a flat roof. It does look a little lower. You really get that beautiful illusion. Well, it's not an illusion. It's real on those domed roofs. What do we got here, Miss Tammy? Are you in this one? Doesn't have bunks. It's got the front uh, queen bed and you can pull curtains. Well, actually this one has uh, pocket doors. Okay, instead of a curtain, has a fireplace. And as I look around, very nice, huge super slide. That whole thing is a slide. And look at all the uh, workspace you have here, prep space they call it, counter space, and a stainless fridge. Let's see what kind of bathroom they have. Lots of, uh, uh, at least you've got the medicine cabinet that's, you know, got the stuff inside. They got the little lip on here so things don't fall out. It's got my, uh, my shower that I like. Looking back, it's a very nice camper. This one will cost you 30 grand. It weighs... 5,600 pounds, and the exterior length, bumper to bumper, is 28.9. You're under 30 feet. This seems to be the goal that uh, people want to be able to back them in and get them into a lot of campgrounds that uh, you don't have to, you know, rely on a, a, a pull-through site, which is limited. Pull-through sites uh, go fast from all the Class A's that come in. Bunks, outdoor kitchen. Uh, two doors on this one. I'll take a peek. Different steps all together. You can see the difference in the in the manufacturing process, the colors, the cabinets. I mean, you can almost just tell. I mean, it's a price point, right? It's a price point. This one has a curtain only shower, no uh, max air fan, and you have uh, just open pantry here to lay some things. Huh. A real small sink with no no space at all. No no medicine cabinet, just a mirror on the wall. Uh, but then you come in and, oh, this is interesting. You have a sofa that I guess it will fold as well. No, maybe not. And you get your bunks here. That's interesting. And you can close each one. Kind of like you're riding on a train, huh? There's a mantle. A big booth and that is a slide there you know the slide makes a difference folks if these slides were in and we walked in any of these campers you would not believe it'd be like oh that looks like Tim's wolf pup but again you have this narrow space here that uh, I'm not a big fan of so that's another bunk we'll skip that one but this is a long one. Let's let's make the metal. Oh, here's two long ones. Let's make the um, the metal campers with this super slide on here. Aluminum wheels. We're dressing it up now. This is the Legacy Edition. Solar on board. All these features and eight thousand pounds dry. Exterior length, 35 feet. It's a big boy. It's got a slide on each side. It should have a ginormous living space. Tammy. 
This should have a huge living space in the middle because it has a slide on each side and it's 35 feet. Got mag wheels, uh, dual axle. Let's go on in. Come on in. Look, it's got this rail. I like this. Oh yeah, this is this is more quality. Oh yeah. Lots of counter space over there. Counter space here. Stainless steel fridge. Island kitchen. Mm -hmm. Dinette set. Two love seats. Uh, those are recliners right there. These are theaters. Mm -hmm. uh, the TV is not in. I guess it's optional. You can put a pretty good size one here. Maybe even a 42 or bigger. You can tell this material is not the same as the ones in the Flagstaffs, uh, but yet it's very nice coloring. All of these, in my opinion, have excellent coloring. This is the escape window. You got a front window on this one like the Flagstaff. Let's sit down here. Okay. Now this, is a, this one here is like an Amtrak. It keep, keeps going. Let's go back here and look. Nice bedroom. Yeah. All right. Okay, the bed's coming this way. And you've got a closet there with a mirror on it, overhead. Those are decent size. Those aren't the real small ones. Got the lights, a window, another window. And then in here, a washer and dryer hookup. There's no light. Sorry. But well, you could also put a clothes rod there and make it a closet. Did you see that, Tammy? Mm -hmm. Washer and dryer hookup. Yeah, I saw that outside, outside. And then here's the bathroom, huh? Yeah. Oh, a different, uh, a different door altogether. Got a little latch there. Does have a Madison cabinet. A little thing here. So, and that door. Uh, blocks that off there like that. This is the biggest and the baddest of the metal trailers in the Catalina. Uh, what is my AC? My AC's got duct, duct air. There's no adjustments to them. They're already got their own little thing there. And that's how that rolls. This one is $38,995, and it weighs 8,000 pounds. We went over that already, I believe. And yeah, 35 feet long. So if you've got the kids, you've got the family, you've got the big truck to tow her, come and get it. Oh, look at this one over here with the outdoor kitchen. Look at that. Hey, that's cool. Another legacy edition. That one doesn't have the outdoor kitchen. So does this one have uh, bunkhouse beds? Or is it set up there? Look, I mean, this is like the inside of it. Look how nice. Look at this. You pull this out, fridge. Look at those sharp looking wheels. Nice mag tires, 15 inch. Man, they got them. Look at all these. There's another legacy with the outdoor kitchen. Probably the same as this. Let's go in and check it out. Bigger bedroom with closets and bunk bunks. Oh, yeah. You got room here, folks. This is what Sarasota Tim likes. Here we go. I can walk by. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's your washer and dryer? Or storage? Wow, look at that. And here you go. Here's a closet. Okay, you're scoring points with me now. There you go. There's your closet. Got a nice bed to get in. Very easy privacy. You got a door. Look, it's equipped for the TV. Here's the cable. You hang your TV there. Then, oh, it's got its own air conditioning back here. It's a roof air. Well, they all got roof air, but I mean, it looks like, uh, is that duct? 
Check this out. What does it got in here? It's kids room back there. Got a fireplace. Okay. Big TV wall here. You can put the biggest you want. Look at that. I like how they leave that optional. You can pick these up, folks. We're so cheap today. Tammy and I saw a 75-inch at Walmart. I believe it wasn't even more than 500 bucks. Yeah. This was $40,000 for 2024 uh, 343 BH Bunkhouse TS. And a uh, leveling system, whatever. The weight is 8,600 pounds. And it's a 1,300-pound tongue. This is three-quarter, one-ton dually diesel something. This is not the crusher. I'm outmatched here, but, boy, it's beautiful. Nice bathroom. Roomy. And the bedroom, a second. Oh, wow, check it out. And that's a slide. That comes in. Look at what you can do. You can. Have, who's ever seen such? Look at these cool things. Look at that, folks. It's not really. A, it's kind of a a kid's room. Look, it's a little kid's thing. How neat! And they can sit right there. And oh, look! It has all these things here. You can pull out and put stuff in. There's a window. We turn the light out. Love that. Clicks very nicely. And uh, it's got the pocket door. I just love the colors. Everything is in 2023, 2024, their design in this fireplace. Look at this. Let me sit right here like I'm having dinner. Okay. I'm at the booth. It's very comfortable here. I'm looking around. I've got a fireplace going right there, front and center. Huge 50 inch, 60, 70, I don't know, not 70. Huge 50, 55, easily right there. A regular little fan. Big sink. This is nice, but of course, we need us a, a semi to pull it. <laughs> I say that kiddingly. But if you've got it, and I know a lot of people have those 2500 HDs, those Fords with the turbo engines in them, and you, you'll pull this like it's not even back there. But not my, uh, not my Tundra. These rails are amazing. They really help you coming down. Look at that outdoor kitchen. This is a family vehicle. The family trailer. Anything different there? Did it have that? Did you see that child's room back there with a little ladder to get up on that one little bed? Dang, this thing's oh, sliding glass door. Come on. Let's take let's take a look at the numbers. This is fifty grand. It's a twenty twenty four thirty nine footer. It weighs, uh, it's 40 feet, yes. Uh, dry weight, 9,400 pounds. So you need one of them 14,000, 13,000 pound uh, towability, uh, tow uh, uh, trucks. Trucks that can tow that much. Man, look at that. Island kitchen, theater recliners. These are recliners as well. You're limited to what size TV you can put in here. Probably all you need. You got views. You can see out. All the, all the light comes in. A big slider. Look at that. I don't... It would really be hard to pick the best floor plan. Even though I know half of these I couldn't tote. Well, not half... A lot of them I can't. It's got a ceiling fan. The bedroom does too. Really? And Let's it's go cold. back. It's too cold. Let's go back and take a look. Now that's a big refrigerator. That is huge. Wow. 
plenty of prep space, folks. Island kitchen, all this here. Oh, these are the blinds. I haven't been down yet. The verticals for your slider. Look at that big window. All right. Oh, you can sit down. The ladies can sit down and shave their legs or whatever. Got this. Um, I love the medicine cabinet so you can put stuff in. That really helps. Plastic toilet. And you can put things on the wall, you know, to put your towels on and everything. There's all kinds of accessories you can add, mods you can do. You got this little hallway. You come down to the master big closet. I knew it. Washer and dryer. Crazy. USB. Looking around. And they got some units, don't they, folks? They have got some units here. And they said right now it's a buyer's market. It's time. Big closet. It's really time. Two doors. You can get out here. So that's going to conclude the uh, metal trailers. Uh, the Catalinas can certainly uh, uh, become, you know, get big. You can get the long ones. I don't know what that is over there. It's a Forest River Ozark accent. Since I own a Forest River, it's right next to the Honda generator. We'll just peek in it. We don't get cheap on you here at Sarasota Tim YouTube channel. I'm impressed. Look at this. It's darker wood, but oh, it's it's called the uh, the L-shaped sofa, and that's put down. But you can. You know, there's no ottoman, but you can, uh, or recliners, so you can put that out and you sit there like that. The blinds are down, so it's a little dark over here. This is a slide. Queen. And uh, kitchen. Mattress feels great. Mattress feels good. This is a forest river. Uh, I'm now very fond of the light coloring cabinetry. I'm not... Although it's brand new and it's gorgeous, it's just not my choice. I like the lighter. But this color combination goes very well together. It works. As you can see, it is um, a black sort of color. Sorry about the noise out there. That's the generator. For, look at this big sink it has. Oh, and this is um, interesting. It's just a little suburban <laughs> camp stove. $20,000. And it's 23 feet. Uh, total length and the weight is um, 3,800 pounds dry weight lots of little uh, drawers and stuff in here regular fan oh it's used 2021 okay all right this is a pre-owned used one all right it's in good shape I would have never have known that's a 2021 used yeah, they got the little carpet in here. Goes all the way through. You know, my wolf pup, if you put something down there, you better have a hook to get it. It doesn't go through. So many features I could really appreciate now by upgrading from what I have, although mine has served me well, very well. I, uh, I really appreciate the new, the new trailers. So folks, that's gonna get it for the metal trailer, uh, Catalina. Coachman uh, campers. They're long. They're big. You can find them right here at the um, uh, uh, Camp Oaks. There's the uh, card, the phone number. Hang on. There's the card, the phone number, the information, website, email address, all you need. Believe me, if you're in the market for a camper trailer, there's plenty of places you can buy. It's worth the drive right here to North Georgia. This is just north of Atlanta about 45 minutes uh, just just outside of Dawsonville 
but we're actually in Dahlonega. But Dawsonville is only about eight miles that way to the downtown area of Dawsonville where my daughter lives. I'm gonna go in and talk some numbers now and get some, uh, maybe take a second look at the Flagstaffs and try to decide if there's something I wanna consider and see what the numbers are gonna be. Wish me luck because I'm getting ready to crush it.